Uh, okay, I'm going to scroll up and down the page, and um, it looks like, as it's loading, um, it says 10% cash back um, and unlimited free delivery. So that right away catches my eyes um, because it's something that I would definitely use. Um, looks like I can add my location. Nice picture of a burger that looks good. Um, maybe I would want to see like a slideshow of like different food because um, like a burger seems like very classic American food, but I feel like I'd want to see other types of food that aren't just like cheeseburger and fries and like a Coke. Um, yeah, so it looks like there's a perks program, local favorites, um, like local restaurants, help feed hungry kids, um, donate the change program. Oh, that's really cool. I like that they do that, that you could donate um, and um, help that um, goes to children, hungry children. Exclusive perks. Um, okay, yeah, I always like perks, so that's nice. Pick up and deliver from restaurants near you. Um, again, these two women are eating burgers. So it does really focus on burgers. Like all, all the pictures, or every single one of them, are about burgers and it seems like that's like the only thing that they do. Um, this is a big footer. <laughs> There's a lot in this footer so it's a little overwhelming. Um, looks like a lot of info here. Um, I'm curious what this Grubhub Plus is because it did say I had to join Grubhub Plus to get the 10% cash back. Um, oh, so 10% cash back versus 10% off. Um, interesting. I, yeah, I don't, so that means that I do an order and I get 10% in cash back, which is very interesting. That's not a normal reward thing that I see that often, um, other than like credit cards. Um, so that's a little interesting. Um, so what I liked about this, um, I liked a lot that it talked about um, the two programs, which was one, the Feeding Hungry Kids, and the second one, um, the perks, because I think those are really good to know. Um, and then it did have the kind of reward at the top. I was a little confused by it, but, um, and then obviously I would go in here and um, actually put my address in, um, which would be good. Yeah, I didn't like that it was only pictures of burgers. I think that if Grubhub is about food delivery, it's very much focused on burgers and like American food versus, you know, all different types of food. Um, this footer seems very overwhelming. Um, it's just a lot here, um, kind of overpowering. Um, yeah, I just want to see more pictures of food, maybe even just like for inspiration. Like if I'm hungry, I'd want to know like, oh, okay. I'm, sometimes you don't know what you're in the mood for unless you're, you know, given some images of things and you're like, oh, that looks good. I'd get that. So yeah, it's not that I necessarily dislike it. Just, you know, didn't, didn't spark like me thinking about other types of food. Um, imagine you're in the mood for um, Italian food. Search for Italian food. Don't click on the restaurant just yet. When you found the restaurant that looks good, proceed with the next task. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go and add my address here. I'm going to add my zip code. Um, one, one, one. Um, yep. Okay. Um, I do like that it doesn't make me sign in first. Um, sometimes these things make me sign in before I can even just browse. So it is nice that I can browse. Um, and I do like this is because it's giving me quick kind of things that I can go for. Um, but I don't think they're going to have different types of, no, they do Japanese sushi here. Um, I don't know if they'll have specifically Italian, because there's Mediterranean. Oh, Italian. Okay, cool. Um, I like how it has those images, so it, you know, makes me think, oh, yes, wings. That's what wings are. Yep. Um, okay. So we got the meatball shop. 
Olive Garden. Um, seems like, you know, I'm being in New York City, like three options for Italian food seems a little off in my mind. Um, you know, like what are the differences between these three versus these three or the, oh no, see here's a lot more. Um, and then all these, that is a little confusing to me because it's like the different design, like this is designed differently than this, which is designed differently than this. So what is breaking up those, like what is the difference between those three um, is, is confusing to me. Um, um, what an interesting way of doing it. Um, I guess I would want to know how far away these restaurants are. Um, that would I would want to know that I'm not seeing that. Um, I think the task told me uh, to find a restaurant that looks good. Okay, so I I'm gonna look here. Um, This is looking interesting to me. Looks good from the image. That looks good. Let's see some more images here. Oh, these are nice. Um, it says delivery ASAP, but then it's 50 to 60 minutes. To me, that doesn't seem like ASAP. Um, that seems kind of long, but um, okay. Penne al vodka looks really good. Oh, wow. See, this is making me hungry here. Um, I actually really want that penne al vodka. I didn't click on that. Um, okay, so now it tells me, does this restaurant deliver to you? Um, so I'm going to put in an address here. I'll actually do my other address. Um, yep. Outside of delivery range. Okay, so this is what I was talking about before. It's uh, okay. Find delivery nearby. I I got into this before. It's like you asked me for my zip code, but then you're showing me things that are outside my delivery range, which is frustrating. Um, because it's like, oh, I got, really wanted that penny a la vodka, and now I just can't have that. Okay, so I'm going to go back to Italian here. Italian. Okay. So, yeah, if you're going to ask my zip code, then it should at least show me only things. Um, okay. Yep. I'm actually going to pick a restaurant that I haven't been to, just for fun. Mm. Coupons. I know what that is. Actually, I'm gonna look it back because I don't know what coupons is. Five dollars off all orders over twenty dollars limited time offer. Five dollars off all orders over twenty dollars. Oh, okay. That's good. That's good to know. I would definitely use that. Um, so I'm going to use this restaurant because I like that. It has that coupon. The food does look good. It's a little bit on the fancier end um, than what I would probably probably get normally. Um, it depends on what, you know, for delivery, I don't think I'd get something this fancy typically, but it has the $5 off, so maybe I would because, you know, it's cheaper. So that's, that's good to know. Um, so I do like the layout of this page. I I like the ratings. That's the first thing that draws my eye. Don't know what GH plus means, so I would want to look into that. Um, the coupons again. That's what draw me to this restaurant. Um, I'm not seeing tons of photos. Um, I would want to see more photos of the food. Like this. Whoa. Okay. And the the photo is a little pixelated, so um, I wonder. Okay, yeah, there's some photos. Yeah, I'm not. 
like I, I want to almost see like Yelp where I can see like a lot, a lot of photos because I usually pick my meals based on the photos. Actually, that's how I pick my meals. Um, okay, so I see the location. That's good to know. Um, the reviews. I, I actually really like the percentage breakdown um, of who thought you know the food was good versus delivery was on time because that um, or order was accurate because those are three very different things. Um, because you know the delivery could be late, but the food might be great. So that's that's very good. Um, so this I would draw my eye to this review right away because it's much longer. Um, I do like chicken cordon bleu, but that's not Italian, I don't think. Um, I would say I'd want to see a little bit more reviews, but I mean there's 23, so I only saw like five when it came up here. Yeah, it says it has 23 re reviews, but I guess the most recent. Yeah, I mean, overall I do like this page. I just would want to see more images. Um, interesting because it said 73% said tasty, but then it said 73% said food was good. So I think just, yeah, some consistency there. And then it says correct, but it should just say, I like how it said this order was accurate. Um, because at first, if I just saw correct, I wouldn't know what that meant. On time, that makes sense, um, but correct, um, correct doesn't doesn't resonate with me. Um, um, how would you uh, how would you suggest improving this page? Yeah, I just made a couple points about um, the consistency of the percentages here, um, the images. Um, I think the images, of, especially of all the, the different options, um, the ratings, it seemed like it only gave me like five ratings when it says it had 23. Um, and that, to me, gives me a little pause. Um, but overall, pretty good. Actually, maybe a quick reviews here. Yeah, again, I'm not seeing all the reviews in one, which I would like to see. Um, take a look at the different filter options on the left side. Walk us through what you think each filter means. Um, okay, so, yep. All right, yeah, so I see the filters here. So I think there's delivery and pickup, which is very self-explanatory. Um, Grubhub Plus is something I don't know. I not sure what that meant. I said that earlier. I don't know. Coupons, that's pretty self-explanatory. Like, you get coupons. I was attracted to that restaurant because of that. Open now, that's a good thing to have checked. Um, rating, yep, that makes sense. Like, you only want to go to restaurants that are um, three or four star or higher. Price point, definitely you'd want least expensive to most expensive. Um, delivery time, 45 minutes, 60 minutes, any. Huh. It's a little strange wording. It's like, what if I wanted one of fifty minutes? It's like I can't really put it in the middle. That's a weird way. <laughs> Any? Like so if I'm okay with like a four hour delivery? Yeah, I don't this delivery time part is a little confusing. Um, okay. Search for pasta. I am going to clear all filters, X out the filters. Um, and then I did see, I'm going to X out Italian, but I am going to, nope, I don't want to change my address. I want to keep the same address. Um, I think I saw pasta here, pasta. I do like this top filtering part, it makes it a lot easier. Okay, um, Papadilla, Papadilla, I actually go there a lot. I like that place, so I'm going to click on it because I never order to go. I always eat there, but um, oh, so that place has a lot of ratings. Um, it's a very good place to eat. I'm a huge fan. Um, and I love the, actually, I love this penne. It's really good. Um, but I want to see if there's some other, other ones that, Maybe I haven't seen photos for. I think that at the top, it should have more photos. Like, why is this the one photo that represents Papadilla? 
which to me is um, very strange. Um, I'm going to go with this penne because it's very good. Um, yeah, it's weird. It's only one one photo. Um, I don't want any of that stuff. Okay. I'm going to add it to my cart now. Add the bag. Cool. do I'm going to view my order here um, I guess the only thing I'd want to see is how how much it's going to cost now I got to create an account um, but yeah I mean overall I think I have mostly what I need um, that was very you know it's it, I'm going to give it a four it it wasn't um, not too hard it's just that um, there weren't enough photos. I think I think there should definitely be more photos. Um, the reviews should be a little bit better organized um, and really highlighted because I know a lot of people look for the reviews. I did like the breakdown of reviews. That was really helpful. Um, but overall, I mean, it wasn't hard. Um, I just think there's some things that could be improved, like whether just the images, like I was just expecting more um, when it came to images because that's really how I make all my decisions. Um, I'm very likely to use it. Um, it wasn't anything that was like, prohibiting prohibiting me from using it. It's just like I'd want to see more things um, with it. 